Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone having a wonderful day. Here's why Josh Duggar hasn't been sentenced to prison. Josh Duggar was sentenced to 151 months in jail, or 12.5 years. He will be on supervised release for the next 20 years after completing his prison sentence. Josh must also adhere to Judge Timothy L. Brooks' particular conditions. Josh is prohibited from having unsupervised contact with youngsters as part of his special conditions, according to KNWA Fox 24. Josh and Anna Duggar have seven small children together, and a handful of them will still be minors when he is released from prison in 12.5 years. As a result, reuniting with his children after his release may be extremely difficult. Josh's access to a computer or any electronic device with internet or photo storage capabilities must also be approved by the U.S. Probation Office. Josh must also pay for software that tracks his online activities. He is prohibited from purchasing, possessing, using, distributing, or administering marijuana, and he is required to enroll in a sex offense-specific treatment program. Note that there are some more criteria. If there's evidence to believe Josh is breaking his orders, his person, housing, place of employment, vehicles, papers, computers, and any other electronic devices or storage media can be examined. Following Josh Duggar's sentencing, fans of the Duggar family are curious as to where he is now. Josh is still in county jail, according to The Sun, due to capacity concerns at either of the prisons where he could be sent. A legal source told The Sun, it's a waiting game and that's usual. When the federal government moves him out of Washington County, the jail has no say. The prison system is overburdened. It takes time to decide on a facility, locate an open bed, schedule a transfer, and so on. The system is sluggish. It's hard to know when something will happen. According to the insider, the two prison alternatives are FCI Cedarville and FCI Texarkana, both of which are tiny. They're asking for two little facilities, like 1,700 people small, they stated. Josh Duggar still hasn't decided where he'll spend the next 12.5 years behind bars due to prison overcrowding. However, one institution is said to have a more effective sex offender program than the other. According to KNWA Fox 24, Judge Timothy L. Brooks stated that he wants Josh to serve his time at FCI Seagaville. Seagaville's moderate intensity program lasts 9 to 12 months and consists of outpatient groups meeting two three times per week for several hours. The program is for offenders evaluated to have a low to moderate risk of reoffending, and participants learn basic skills and concepts to assist them comprehend their prior offenses and lessen risk of future offending. Stay tuned with Gossip Time. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.